Good afternoon. It is a very stormy Friday and I think the lens is fogging up a little bit. I can't really tell. Yeah, it's definitely fogged up a little bit. Okay, sorry about that. But you can kind of see how it's mucho stormy today. Boo, the weather's been so like dreary all day. Okay, so I just finished editing the video and uploading the video. Sorry, I'm like still in my pajamas. My hair is crazy. You know, fun, fun Friday, Jen, right? It's fun Friday, Jen. So I, the video was kind of long. It took me a while to edit it. So now it's like almost time for Tim to come home. So I am making dinner. Sorry for the weird random timing of the video. I just, I spent most of my day editing. So those Horror Nights videos kind of take a long time to edit because of the, like the noises and the music and things like that. So um, it took me a while, but anyway. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you didn't get to check it out, please check it out if you like. It's the video from yesterday. But now I am making something called super duper cheesy cheeseburgers. <laughs> and that's what they're called. And it's a recipe from Publix. So it's pretty silly, but it's also pretty dang delicious. It's a pound and a quarter of ground beef. I think this is ground chuck or ground Angus or something like that. And then I also did a cup of um, white onions and uh, like two cups of diced mushrooms. I'm cooking that up. And then I got some Velveeta cheese. I know this is terrible processed, disgusting plastic cheese, but I'm gonna put it in here and it's going to be a super duper cheesy cheeseburger in a hoagie. So should be delicious. It's very easy to make. I'm sure it's not very good for you, but it's it tastes great and it's it's quick and easy. So that's what we're having tonight. So this is done. Uh, sorry, I didn't show you like me putting in the cheese to show you what the cheese looked like. It's um, it's really hard to do this with one hand, so it's hard to vlog and cook sometimes. I need to get like a tripod or something that kind of like hangs over the burner. I think that might be kind of cool. So then I can do like little cooking segments. I don't know. Maybe we'll look into like making one. But, um, but yeah, so this is done. I'm just gonna like scoop this into hoagie rolls. So I think that should be pretty good. And then I'm also going to make this Caesar salad kit. These were on sale two for five. So we got them cause they are super cheap and they're pretty delicious. I only use half the dressing though because they give you a ton of dressing. So that kind of cuts down the calories too. But, uh, but yeah, so that's gonna be our dinner. I'll show you guys the completed look when I'm done here in just a second. Oh yes, here's dinner. Look at that, that's that cheesy uh, hamburger type thing. It's delicious. I haven't tried it yet, but it looks delicious for sure. Woo, happy Friday everybody. You know what it is for me? It's a long weekend, so that's awesome. We have off Saturday, Sunday, Monday, which is great for me because the car's making all kinds of funny noise. We got lots of housework to do. I gotta clean the pool. That's fun. Ah, no. <laughs> but on a side note, uh, I got like three hours of sleep last night, so I'm not feeling too like, woo. I'm feeling more like, woo. Woo. thanks Will Smith. You guys want to play a game with me? Let's play, is this a pile of blankets or a dog? I think it's a pile of blankets. It's not doing anything. Were you so sleepy and I was poking you in the head? Yeah, I was. Look at my toes. We are watching Elementary because that is the way that I like to spend my evenings falling asleep on the couch and watching Elementary. You guys want to play a game? Let's play, is this a pile of blankets or a dog? You can see his feet this time. Poke you in the butt. So, as, <laughs> woo. so I'm sure as you guys can tell, I'm pretty darn tired. So I wanted to kind of give you guys like a little bit of insight into my mind when I'm tired. So, um, aliens, right? There more than likely are aliens out there because there are a lot of planets. It's, it's like infathomable, infathomable how large the universe is. And there is more than likely another planet that's like Earth that has life on it that could possibly have a communication form like we have, you know, not with YouTube and the TVs and stuff like that. I'm talking about just like language. So when we're talking, we use transitional words like, like, so, um, uh, stuff like that. Uh, things like that. Those are transitional words. 
Do you think aliens have transitional words? So speaking of aliens, I feel like the one thing that I'm sort of excited if we ever find aliens, like aliens are so far away that more than likely they're not visiting us. Like we're not seeing UFOs in the night. There aren't aliens visiting us because uh, theoretically we can't travel fast than the speed of light. So uh, it would take them a very long time to get here. Closest like Earth-like planet, something like 22,000 light years away or 2,000 light years away. Like it would take it at the speed that light travels 2,000 years to get here. That's a really long time. There are like, there's no, no way. 0% chance that there are aliens visiting us. So, but I'm kind of excited to see like what aliens eat. Like what is like alien delicacy? Like what do they have in like filet mignon? Like alien filet mignon. I'm excited to find that out. Maybe one day we'll know. So I've had a very long day and I'm uh, very tired. Falling asleep on the couch like five or six times. No biggie. Didn't actually get very much sleep after, uh, from yesterday when we went to Horror Nights. Maybe like three hours of sleep, so I'm very, very tired. So I'm sorry that today is a little bit of a shorter video. Uh, we do have a little bit of extra footage from yesterday morning before we went to Halloween Horror Nights. So if you guys want to, stick around and we'll put that at the end of this video. So I will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price. Good morning from the Monty. Oh, I bet you thought I was going to say good morning from the Bean. Well, I did. I said both. Good morning from both of these little guys. The power just went out, so they're like kind of freaking out a little bit. I don't know what happened. Uh, because it is totally sunshiny, not a cloud. Well, no, there is a cloud, but it's not a storm. You know what I mean? Like there's no rain clouds outside. It's a beautiful day and I don't think it's even supposed to rain. So I don't know why the power went out. Hmm. Also, I am making meatballs because we are gonna go to Halloween Horror Nights and I'm trying to get dinner ready like now so that as soon as Tim gets home, we can eat dinner super fast and then leave and get there on time. We'll see if that actually happens. So it's like lunchtime, but I'm making dinner so it'll be done ASAP. But I still, I can't believe I had to come back outside and get our money, but I can't believe how nice it is outside. Now that I think about it, I could have like maybe had one too many things turned on and that's why the power went off. That could totally be it. But, uh, but yeah, the weather is great. Don't look at that pool though, cause we have not cleaned it in quite some time. Oh, and a lot of you guys said that you liked my time lapse on the camera. Thank you guys. I'm glad you liked it. Cause I was, I'm actually just happy that it actually, it, it worked. Cause I didn't think it was gonna show anything at all, <laughs> but it did, it showed a little bit over here. So I left that in. But um, it did it on the regular camera because I don't know how to use the GoPro. So that's why it maybe looked a little bit different. But there you go, that was it. And look at that mode yard. Ah. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't have on any makeup. My hair looks crazy. And I'm not gonna show my face right now. But I'm gonna show the bandit instead and hopefully that's okay. So you're not just looking at nothing, you're looking at the cute little bean. What I, but what I was gonna tell you was, if anybody was gonna ask for the recipe for the meatballs, I don't have one, so I'm really sorry about that. It was one of those pre-made like entrees from Publix. You can buy, like, they make like Montreal steak, they do like chicken cordon bleu, they have like a flank steak rolled up with mozzarella cheese and spinach. They do all kinds of really awesome entrees and they're fairly inexpensive. So that's why I got those meatballs so I don't have the recipe because I bought it like that from Publix. And there's the bean. Oh no, Armani wants in. Oh, he had a little sneeze, huh? Okay, I took these off the heat because I think they are done and I'm gonna put them in another pot, cook them with the sauce and make the noodles. And then by that time, maybe Tim will be home and then we can eat dinner, but I may have overcooked these slightly. They're supposed to be at like 160 degrees, which they are, but they are also a little bit more, um, browned, I guess, than I was hoping for. I don't know, I think they're still gonna be good. They smell great. We'll see. Oh my gosh, by the way, every single show is back on TV and it's causing me to not get all my stuff done because I can't stop watching Empire. Law & Order SVU was brand new and it was like 10 hours long. There's a new Nashville. Um, oh my gosh, something else. Oh, like Goldbergs, Fresh Off the Boat. Um, so many, so many, so many new shows, or old shows that I love that are back, they're back, they're back. Ah, rest in peace my, like, productive time, for real. Yay. Oh my gosh, I love television. <laughs>